What is up everybody? My name is Milnosh and welcome to another how-to video this time on how to get the meteor armor and that video starts right now. Okay, first things first, I want to note that this whole video is done in the corruption, but everything that you see here can be accomplished as well in a crimson world. But first things first that we need to do before arriving in the corruption is we need to make sure that we get ourselves some bombs made. And in particular, I enjoy making sticky bombs as when you throw them, they do stick right where you apply them. Here's how you made them. You need one gel and one bomb and that equals a sticky bomb. And I would suggest making plenty of these, maybe 40 or 50 for the entirety of this video. And once you have completed this task of creating your bombs, you will want to head over to the Corruption or the Crimson and find your way down to where you will either find a Shadow Orb or a Crimson Heart, depending on the type of world that you have. Now, you can avoid using the explosives altogether by simply using a Platinum Pickaxe, Tungsten Pickaxe, or Gold Pickaxe. There is also the option of grabbing the Reaver Shark by fishing it up, and I will link a video right now for your viewing pleasure. Now it is worth noting that if you do plan on using the Pickaxe solution, then you must also bring yourself a hammer to destroy the orb, as only a hammer or a bomb or other explosive will be able to break the orb or Crimson Heart. And once you have done so, you're free to go on your merry way and mine or do whatever you please until you see a message at the bottom of your screen that reads a meteorite has landed and that is how you will know that it is time to go searching for your meteorite now without going into the specific details of it just know that after destroying an orb or a crystal heart there is about a 50% chance that a meteor will land on that first night if this does not succeed and you do not get a meteor to land on that first night go back repeat the process and hope for the best with a second orb and once you have found that meteorite on your map it is time to start using some of those sticky bombs and like I said before, sticky bombs are going to be the easiest way to accurately bomb the area and the fastest way to mine all of the ore that is needed. Of course, you would need to be careful as meteor heads, these little enemies you see here, do spawn and can be rather dangerous. So please be careful of them as you are mining for your meteor. Of course, you can also avoid using this bomb method if you have some sort of item that does negate the burning debuff that you get by coming in direct contact with the meteor. And at this point, the only thing left for us to do is to bomb the meteor, collect our ore, and get safely back home. Cue montage mining music. Okay, now all that is left to do is to go ahead and make us some meteorite bars right here. Just make as many as possible because they have no use in ore form. And once you've made those, we can go ahead and make the meteor helmet, meteor suit, and meteor leggings, which all together will run us 45 meteorite bars. And we'll go ahead and make the space gun as well, which will cost us an additional 20. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Milanosh. Thank you for watching another how-to tutorial this time on how to get the meteor armor. If you liked what you saw, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you next time.